Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is DJ. As more people are buying soundbars these days, I get a lot of questions about how to set them up where you can use your Amazon Fire TV remote to control the volume of the soundbar. In this video, I'm just going to show you that right after this. Now in this video, I'm going to be using an Insignia soundbar, it's model NS-SBAR21F20. And also I'm going to be using a Fire TV Stick 2nd Gen that is connected to my Insignia TV. Now this soundbar only has two inputs, it has an analog and an optical connection. It does not have a HDMI ARC input in here. Now, if your soundbar does come with an HDMI input, I will recommend using that. Otherwise, my second choice would be the optical. And then last will be the Bluetooth. Now, when it comes to Bluetooth connection, I don't personally recommend that. In my experience, uh, you will have audio sync issues. You will notice uh, lip sync problems when you're watching video. The reason is... Um, it has to do with the latency. Now, latency, pretty much what it is, it's the time it takes for audio data to go to your device and process it and send it over to your soundbar. And then your soundbar has to process that information and then bring it out on the speakers. With Bluetooth, since it's all wireless too, it takes more time to process that and it creates some more latency compared to a wired connection. When you have a wired connection, it's only gonna be like five to 10 milliseconds worth of time, where when you go into a Bluetooth, it will take anywhere between 100 and 200 milliseconds. Now that doesn't sound a lot, but just that enough time that it takes to process from one to another, you will notice that delay in the voice, so you will have the audio sync, lip sync issue. And that's why I don't recommend using Bluetooth. Even though it, the technology is getting better and better with um, Bluetooth 5.0, for example, it's still not perfect. So for now, I would personally recommend using an HDMI ARC connection if your soundbar supports that. If not, I will say use the optical. All right. Now, another thing before we start. Even though you will be able to control the sound of your soundbar with the Amazon Fire TV remote, this will not take care of the rest of the buttons that are on your remote. So you will need to still use that remote that you have from your soundbar. So for example, if I go to my remote here, as you can see, there's a source button on there. Um, you got the play, pause, fast forward, rewind. That's for the USB port, for example if you're playing music from there and also you have the pairing button on there and some sound modes for enhancing the sound of your sound bar when you're watching something specific let's say the news a movie or if you want just to enhance the bass now all these buttons you're still going to have to use your remote that came with your sound bar the fire tv remote will only control the sound uh, the volume up and down you can mute it and if you don't have your remote paired with your tv to turn the tv on and off then you can use that to turn the soundbar off if it doesn't automatically go off so for example this soundbar since it's only an optical if it had an hdmi connection input on there it probably would go off when you turn off the tv because of the cec signal but this one will not so you have to manually turn it off all right now what do we need to do here first to set it up? We need to go to our settings. Scroll down and we're gonna go to equipment control. In here, we're gonna go down to manage equipment and we're gonna click on add equipment. You're gonna select soundbar. Now, if you previously installed um, a receiver, for example, or another soundbar, you will need to remove that one or change the soundbar. 
Otherwise, if you have for a, if you install the receiver, let's say for example, the soundbar will not show up in the menu here. So you have to remove the receiver first, and then soundbar will show up in here. All right, click on soundbar. Just gonna give it a moment. All right, now in here we're gonna scroll down and find your brand. Mine is an in, uh, insignia, like I said. So I'm gonna scroll down. And there it is and click on that now the first menu over here you can select next or if you press the three line button on your remote you can get into advanced setup pretty much is going to give you the models here now this specific soundbar comes in two different models the first one is just the soundbar and this one is the soundbar with the subwoofer so i'm going to select that one and then press next now, you may be able to hear the sound in the background, so we gotta press the power on the remote to turn it off. And you can see the light is off, and then we're gonna turn it back on. And it's connected. And then we're gonna press yes. And now we're gonna adjust the volume. As you can see, the light is blinking. Press yes. And that's it. Now the sound bar is connected. All right. Now the other thing in here too, if you click on sound bar, you do have a couple other options in here. You can adjust how many increments at a time it raises or decreases the volume. So if you want to increase the, the volume, for example, instead of doing four increments at a time, if you press the fast forward, it brings it to five, or you can go back down to three. That's a choice. And then you got the infrared options. If you're going here. If there's a issue trying, you know, when you press a button and it doesn't, do anything right away it doesn't respond you can adjust that over here and also the repetition most of the time the default is fine it works fine with the way it is but if you notice any issues you can just adjust it from there now this is another thing that you may want to keep in mind if you already have your remote your amazon fire remote to control the power of your tv if your soundbar is not hooked up with an HDMI CEC connection, it won't turn off by itself. Now, if you have, if we go in here and power control. Now, the way this is set up now, the power button of the Fire TV remote will turn off my soundbar, not my TV. If you want the TV to go off and you have it hooked up with an HDMI, you can turn this off. And that way you can go back to your TV and control the TV with a power button from there. But if you leave this on, you will turn off the sound bar, but the TV will stay on. So you have to use a TV remote to turn it off. Just something to keep in mind here too. All right. And pretty much that covers most of it. It's pretty simple to set up. If you want to remove it, if you got a different soundbar or if you're going to hook up a AV receiver, for example, all you have to do is press the three line button on your remote. And that will give you the option to remove it. Or if you're changing it, you can just click on here, change soundbar, and that's it. All right, that should do it for now. A little short video. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section below, and I will answer everybody's question as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It does let YouTube know you like what I do here, and it does help my channel grow. Also, click on subscribe and the little bell icon to get notified of any new videos that I upload. Thanks for watching. This is DJ. Till next time.